Back, as we've been telling you, an election this summer will shape who represents your voice in local politics. Joining us to talk about his run for county commission, Shane Jackson, a Democrat, one of two candidates for District 4. Current Commissioner Kyle Ward is not seeking re-election. Let's show you. District 4 is right here, covers the Rocky Hill area, Bearden, Bluegrass, West Hills neighborhoods. Mr. Jackson, thank you for joining us. Let's thank talk you about me. why you're running. Well, basically, I love Knox County. I've had the good fortune in my career to work in some different places, such as Dallas and Chicago, Washington, D.C., and I even worked in New York City. But where I decided to put my roots down and become vested was right here in Knox County. And I want to make some change here, you know, and other people are realizing that Knox County is a great place to live and people are moving here. I realized it on my way in. Traffic was terrible. It seems to be every day traffic is worse than the day before. I want to solve some of these tough problems like traffic. And I want to make sure that we keep our schools and our neighborhoods safe and let's solve our housing crisis. Let's start with the growth policy plan because that's something that commission just passed. Was it something you would have voted for if you were on commission? Well, I am for having a plan. We haven't had a plan in over 20 years. We continue to sprawl, we're having traffic. What I hear from neighbors when I was knocking on doors yesterday was that it's taking four to five minutes to take a left-hand turn off of North Shore in the 4th District. That's just unacceptable. We've got to do a better job of planning, doing better traffic studies, and finding ways to uh, develop wisely so that way it, you know, uh, it's more walkable and livable for our community. So uh, do you think that growth plan was a good foundation or are there changes you would like to see? Well, I want to make sure that we protect our farmland, we protect our rural areas, and we need to do so by also increasing our density inside the main thoroughfares so that way we can protect our existing neighborhoods and making sure that we keep our neighborhoods safe. Let's talk about uh, schools because that's where most of the budget, 68 cents or so of every tax dollar goes to schools. Are there any changes you'd like to see in our schools as a commissioner? Well, let me just say that I've had three children go through our public school. And in fact, I'm very proud of my son who graduated from West High School yesterday. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Uh, one of the things that I've realized is how hard our public school teachers and our administration work. The only thing that I want to change is let's make sure that we continue to back them financially. Let's fund our public schools. Let's keep them safe. Let's not arm our teachers. And let's make sure that this community and our public schools are continue to improve. What is the biggest difference between you and your opponent in the District 4 race? You know, I think it really boils down to two things. It's how much is the person vested in the community and what is the background of the person. I have helped to turn, turn two uh, FDIC banks around, or I mean public uh, problem banks around for the FDIC. And what I've also done is uh, be able to work as a uh, foundation board member for my public schools. And I have coached more, you know, AYSO soccer teams than I can count. So I'm vested both in the community and I have a business background that I can provide to also solve the debt crisis that our county is soon to be under. Mr. Jackson, we appreciate your time. Thanks very much. More to come, certainly, but best of luck on the campaign trail. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. We're going to toss.